He hasn't pitched it in, but he's done a very fine job of it. If he gets out of here with a five, that's that's he, he ought to be arrested for stealing. Hey guys, what is up, Captain Wood here? I should say everyone. Yeah. We got Dowd and Knife. Yeah. But this time, the 23-year-old found something in a remarkable perspective. Three trails pitcher by one shot after the 13th, but it's quite back to the gallon. The 14th is this one. Yeah. So he should be. Oh, that's a shift. Now the roll speed, we got the... The gun, like... We got the computer video. <laughs> No. <coughs> what the heck is happening? Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Ben. Jeez, car. Uh, uh, no. Think of a two shot me going down the last. I don't. One, two, three, uh, four. Boom! Get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. Okay. Spray, spread, spread. Yeah, the spark experience. He gave us something that was nobody will ever forget. His mind just changed. And I can't tell you how I admire that because in sports, the mind and in life, the mind is the important thing. He turned it around and finished like a lion. Hey, mate. All the dolphin comebacks from sea. Mate, we've we'll got more people work experience. No! 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 This guy should give me free stuff, I will kill him. Fuck him, Gary. Jeez. It's okay. Oi. Oh god, the guy's in oi. Oi, 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 oi. 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 Yeah, it's okay. I was practicing a ruin. I got the show. The show. It's the ball. Let me leave the guard. I don't trust any of you. I don't trust. What the f- we all know that what it's the hell? There's been another murder! I don't know where the murder is, to be honest, today, tonight. Night. 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 Neymar from Barcelona will tell you about the huge price they have to pay next. And Stephen Bunting is taking on the world champion Michael Van Derwin. Oh! And Bunting is coming in black. 
So it's live on Sky Sports main event. But right now, there you go. Purple Tires, proud sponsor of Sky Sports Music. No. Even vampires have laundry night every Thursday for the last 500 years. But then I discovered 13 gems. Now we can entice them. Oh, left to right. <laughs> he avenges me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy you want to be if you can have a club member of Paddy's new VIP Club, well, you'll get a free £10 bet every week. Just place five bets at £10 or more on any sport in a week, and you'll get a free £10 bet the next week. And I'm just saying, well, what a good one. The new Paddy's new customers, Paddy Power. You're beauty. I want you to get down to the city. Where are you going, Paddy? Charm again. Thing. They were like, you're pretty unlucky. And you just made bad timing. So, well, I need to be sheriff once again. <coughs> Somebody you just killed. <laughs> Demonstrating new right. Golf Focus. We work professional golfer Russell Knox to the test. The Go Golf Focus, the official shoes of Russell Knox. The all new Suzuki Swift SZ5 for £159 a month on Suzuki Personal Contract Hire. Search Suzuki Swift now. You're searching loads of websites looking for the best hotel deal. Stop doing that to yourself. Just relax and let Trivago do the work for you. Chivago compares hundreds of websites and apps at the same time. That's how you can be sure to find your ideal hotel for the best price. Simple. Hotel. I Chivago. don't know who to trust. And how much you have to die? Let me just put the ways you're going to die. Rain, heat, the things that want to be your life. Come on, I'm blue rain now. As much as one hundred thousand pounds could be won five times a week. You don't want to go Swear. Sky Academy uses the power of TV, creativity and sport to unlock the potential in young people. What? It's decision day in the Premier League. Was it him? Was it him? I didn't get it. Who is the murderer? Wait, I know it's it's Kelly Key again. <coughs> oh, dear. Now we'll bring you an interview with uh, Gareth Bale very shortly, but first to Jose Mourinho, who's told Anthony Martial that he needs to be more consistent. Martial only scored eight goals in 42 games for Manchester United last season. The link with a move to Inter Milan, but he impressed Mourinho against the Real Madrid overnight. He wants more consistency in his, in his talent. I think that was positive for him, that's why I left him. And he made some on the pitch. He was enjoying, he was trying the same. It is important in this. It's not too much, right? It's good from time for his coffee. Now to the future of Neymar, his Barcelona teammate Gerard Piquet is confident the forward will stay at the new camp. But will Paris Saint Germain persuade him to join the test? We understand there's a 90% chance that Neymar will move. To Paris, PSG is still willing to pay uh, the Brazilians 196 million pound release clause. Okay, again. If Neymar does leave Barcelona, who would they replace him with? Their number one target is Juventus forward Paulo Dybala. He moved to Juve from Palermo for 25 million pounds. Yes. 
We're told that Juventus <coughs> wouldn't even think of selling him for less than £19 million now. Right, that's the topic. That interview with Gareth Bale. It's been under four years since he joined Real Madrid from Tottenham. Could he be like on his way back to the Premier League this summer? He's been linked with Manchester United and we've asked him whether he might move to Old Trafford. Zinedine Zidane didn't look too downhearted to have lost to Manchester United on penalties. He's more focused on the next time the two meet. Just 15 days in the Super Cup final. Gareth Bale feels the same. Obviously, it's the first game of pre-season uh, for us. It's just about kind of getting the cobwebs out, get started on, uh, uh, okay. on getting game time into us. And yeah, obviously, yeah. we're the first yeah. to win, but oh. yeah, that's the way it goes. Back and bang. Well, shirts on sale outside the stadium in Santa Clara at a hefty price tag. So, of course, does the man himself. He'd been linked with the move to Manchester United. But Jose Mourinho has now ended all that speculation. Yesterday, there was, it was mission impossible to get you to Manchester United. You're not even on his list. And is that always the way you've, you've seen it? <laughs> he did, though, say something to Romelu Lukaku after the game. The pair walked off the pitch together in conversation. It lasted for what? I just wish him good luck for what uh, he's just signed us. I wish him good Run. luck for, for the season. Yeah, for the season. Yeah. Give him advice on how to play <laughs> the spotlight. Oh, I'm sure he knows he's been playing long enough, he's done very well. He's nervous. I guess what was guess for free? <laughs> he was wild guy's boy. That guy you always be great with everybody. Because he's naked. Bank again. I want to trade for free. That's what I said. Next to Real Madrid, it's Manchester City. Or Bale face their new signing and his recent teammate, Danilo. Oh, that's a scam. Yeah, he's probably getting over here. No, don't scam. And it made his returning goal for us at the end of last season after recovering from an ACL injury. Yeah, I'm obviously where we want to be, and it's great to have the buzz again. You know, the lads were tremendous last season, won the league, and uh, the vibe, like you say, the buzz, the vibe's back for it. And massive game against Tottenham at home. It's great to have a home game as well. Uh, hopefully, we can hit the ground running. So, obviously, we've been away in Ireland training and back now. So, the game's come thick and fast, ready for the uh, ready for the opener. So, hopefully, we can uh, make it a real special day and get the crowd behind us. Don't even trust you. Sort of friendly, it's about playing the best teams, playing against the best players. Um, I'm not trusting anyone. Two, three years, really kicked on and come um, real title contenders probably this season. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's it's it's, it's exciting. I think she's a murderer. That girl just season. went inside. I really, really think the she's the murderer. The launch of their summer football academy for local children. Now, yeah, for some sure reason, in the Rangers, Joe Garner appears to have settled very so quickly. So, if she is... Five and goals in pre-season, and Mick McCarthy is back to... Well, as long as I can't be sure. Into the new championship Lucas isn't there real. real. I don't... Real business. Our own we... way. And, uh, I, I, I prefer to look at the other way. I'm delighted. I got him rather than criticising somebody else, because it's always seen as a critic. Uh, you know, we ask about players all the time, if, if we can get them, if we can afford them. Okay, and trust him, my trust him. And on this occasion, he's <laughs> <laughs> delighted with him. He's a real pleasant sort of fun, he's a good voice, a good experience. He, uh, he's, he's got his goals as well in pre-season, which no matter whatever else is a, a striker does, he wants to score goals. Well, we have new signings for Ipswich today, but they did announce a new charity partnership with East Anglian Children's Hospice, whose logo will it's appear him. underneath. Looks like the robots numbers. run. Run. I mean, me personally, having done quite a bit of work with the hospice and gone down there, especially at Christmas time last year, and seen the ins and outs of the operation, it's, it's a, such a fantastic thing that we can be involved in. If we can promote it anyway and, and help them move forward, then we'll all What? We'll be the players again like in the last three years. Um, Damn you, okay. nah. So we'll be looking to get ourselves back up in, into those, that top six area. And that's the aim for, for a club like this, really. Now, it's not very often that a referee reverses a penalty decision because they've instructed the law to be corrected. Well, that's exactly what happened to England's women in the European Championship match in Spain. Now, England's Lucy Bronze recited the laws back to the referee during the incident before the official changed her mind. 
I thought it was the right decision in the end. I, I really commend the referee for, for changing her mind, you know, and, and, and going. It was an accidental handball. I could see I was warming up down the side of the pitch at, at the time, and you could see it blatantly come off Ellen's thigh, then onto her arm. And we actually had a meeting from the referees um, a few weeks ago that, that clarified rules and, and stipulations. So we knew that that was an accidental handball. And, and fair play to the ref for turning around and. See, see, because the ref. Like, you know, real. <laughs> Give my leap back. Bye, bro. I can think of my way to left hand. I stamp on you. I stamp on you. For Scotland need England to beat Portugal for Anna Sinyo's side to have any chance of reaching the last eight. They must also beat Spain to have any hopes of progressing, but while that looks unlikely, Sinyo hopes the team's first appearance at a major finals tournament can be a platform for the future. I hope it's inspired many, many football players, young and older, in Scotland to to yeah to want to play and train even more young players to want to be playing in the European Championship themselves in the future. It has been tough, but I know for the players that are here, they are just they are fantastic. I don't trust this guy. And, and uh, we're I just have that big knees to murder. Yeah, that's in the mind, really. Yeah. So we have a result in Group A of the uh, Women's European Championships, and the hosts. Netherlands <laughs> continue their 100% record. They finished top of their group, so they head through uh, to the quarterfinals in fine fettle. Uh, Spitzer put them ahead of the penalty in the first half. That was levelled up by Willem from uh, Belgium. Uh, and then Martin scored the winner after 74 minutes. Uh, so they win the group. I will keep you posted uh, on the other game which is uh, Norway against uh, Denmark. Denmark currently in second place. Avea with a goal after five minutes. Norway uh, missed a penalty. Uh, they've lost both of their games so far. It looks as if they're going to lose a third. Uh, there has been, uh, there has been a, a long injury uh, break in this match, and they're still in stoppage time. Still about a minute and a half to go. But uh, it looks as if it's the Netherlands and Denmark heading through to the quarterfinals. Michael Van Gogh is smiling. Fine. Round of the world match play darts next. I'll be right back in a minute. in seconds. Get paid faster. Automatically calculate self-assessment and VAT. Run payroll with heat and connect everything to your bank account. All using an effortless solution that's great for accountants and used by over 1 million small businesses. QuickBooks makes any place your place of business. See your finances in a whole new way. Search QuickBooks today. <coughs> now with up to 50% off for your first six months. QuickBooks, your accounts and taxes done. Thank you for taking my call. Before we continue, could you say first the third digits in the security pin? Oh, <laughs> I didn't catch that. Sorry. That's the second report to me. Okay, lovely. I'm going through. Did you see what I did there? It's a scam. Never reveal your full security pin, even if you think it's your bank calling. Learn how to protect yourself from fraud. 
Uh, we got a ten pound welcome bonus from Betway Casino. Roulette. Into <laughs> the seat stuff is. Yes, get in. I've always been lucky, you know. Oh. <laughs> Hydration to give it your own. Sky Academy uses the power of TV, creativity, and sport to unlock the potential. Sky Cinema invites you to come on <laughs> with us this time with the 10 biggest blockbusters of 2016. So you can enjoy the biggest adventures, the biggest heroes. <laughs> What's the name, bro? Not today. Okay, let's get more now on that remark. Thank you so much for living in yesterday's ICC World Cup final. And your shove soul took six wickets, and this is what her father yeah. Ian tweeted on Friday. It's a photo of Anya at Lord's when she was a nine year old, and he says uh, that at the time she said, What a place! I'd like to play here for England in a World Cup final. I can remember being here watching Dad play um, in the Club National Knockout when the final was here. Um, I don't remember saying um, those words, but obviously it shows that. Uh, you can have a dream when you're younger, and, and sometimes those dreams come true. Well, we'll speak to Anya and her dad in sports women tomorrow. And uh, women's cricket really has changed in the last few years. These uh, stats uh, show how uh, there were 111 sixes in this World Cup, and that's up from 67 in 2015. There were 14 hundreds this time around, three more Don't. than in the last tournament. Tanya Beaumont and Sarah Taylor put on 275 in the group stage against South Africa. That's also an improvement. In terms of highest partnership from 2013. Our team scored at least 200 on 39 occasions, and that uh, happened just 21 times four years ago. And there were more outstanding bowling performances as well. Bowlers took four or more wickets 13 times. <laughs> Oh, she's gone again, and it's raining boundaries here at Grace Road. Future pair of Rugby Dominion, and that's it. The West Indies slump to 48 all right. That's another one to the package of uh, Divine to the six number seven. And she's done it again. She's done it again. She got the feet, and she got all of it. Nuts on the leap, and it's going to be nuts too. Crowd is going nuts. She might just sneak in the second she wants it. Oh, she might have the second one to look at. Watch out. That's an angry woman out there. I don't think we kept one of my rock. I think I'll go for five more minutes. There was a unique shot on view during the tournament. That's it was through the leg shot up the nutmeg. Uh, here it is being played against New Zealand. What was the architect of the shot to make of a new found <laughs> Very, very surreal. Um, um, I'm out of here. Forward, Kevin Leroy is facing oh, God. Eventually, his <coughs> grip tackle 
on Gatland's Vincent de Port on Saturday. I don't know what that is. I don't know where they are. And tennis former champion Gilles Simon is currently second round of the German Open after beating Maximilian Matera in uh, three sets in Hamburg. Uh, Simon wearing the uh, get it, get it, get it. won the event in 2011. Made a strong start as he broke the home plate. I'm play. not looking. <coughs> Guest, it's a guest. Guest is murderer. The Frenchman then fell two locked down into the cider. Won five of the next six games to come out on. No, 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 Men's 100 meter breaststroke title for the World Championships into the best. This is now the top 10 times in the world in that discipline, but more than a second ahead of his nearest rival. He's a gladiator, you know, and he's an awesome talent, but no one can do it except for him. I mean, we, you know, I mean, we kind of put this down really high for that sort of job into it. We got into the same time, so we win. Incredible. <laughs> win because of me. You know, it's a pitch epic shot. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. 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 I'm not going